Hey, what's going on, guys? Team Penguiners back today with a brand new episode of Club Penguin, Penguin Saloon. In today's episode, we're going to be starting a brand new series called How to Club Penguin. In this series, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to become the most richest, most successful penguin on Club Penguin Saloon. So if you guys are ready for this series, make sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more awesome content like this. And let's get right to it. As you guys can see, here we are in our igloo. We literally have nothing. If we open up our player card, as you can see, we've got zero stamps. We've got uh, 5,500 coin, which I will explain how we got. And we've only got a couple of items. We've just got some hats, a pin, and a couple of backgrounds that we all received from the beta party. Now, what exactly am I going to be showing you guys in this little mini-series? Well, like I said in the intro, I'm going to be showing you guys how to become the richest and most successful Club Penguin player. Now, what do I mean by those two things? Well, I'm guessing you guys can't understand the first one of richest. I have received a lot of comments asking how I got how I got so much money on Club Penguin Rewritten. I'm sure many of you guys saw my video where I became the richest player on Club Penguin Rewritten. And a lot of people asked me how I got so much money. Well, in today's episode, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get so much coin that you don't even know what to do with it. Now, I also said something else in the intro, and that was how to become the most successful Club Penguin player. Now, what do I mean by successful? Well, that means how to earn some of these stamps. Um, as you guys know, many people on the island of Club Penguin have earned loads of stamps, including some of the most rarest stamps, ranging from catching the gray mullet to traveling 25,000, getting 25,000 score on Kart Surfer. There are a lot of stamps. Some of them are easy. Some of them are hard. I'm going to be showing you guys each and every one and the best way to collect them. But that will have to wait for a future episode because in today's episode, we're going to be going over every single way to earn coins in the game. So, number one, the best way to earn coin. If we head over to our map, we can click right over here on the mine. So if we head inside the mine shack, I think you guys can tell where I'm going with this. We are going to head inside of here into the cave mine. As you can see, there are no penguins here, but there is a secret at the cave mine. For those of you guys who do not know, you can actually earn almost hundreds of thousands of coins for absolutely free. All you have to do is just grind for like a couple of hours a day, and you can have over a hundred thousand coins every single week. Eat if you just grind for a couple of hours, which is crazy. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, there is right over here a free miner's helmet. So here it is right here. Now, we are actually going to pick up this Miner Helmet. So there we go. We picked up the Miner Helmet. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put this Miner Helmet on our head. Now, what exactly is so significant about the Miner Helmet? Well, if you walk over to this little mud platform, you can actually start dancing. Where if we start dancing, you will see that we don't actually dance. We mine, which is absolutely crazy. Now, if you wait a couple of moments you will see that my coin counter will slowly but surely start going up. And there we go. We got five coins, 25 coins. Now, the coin rate seems to be a lot slower than Club Penguin Rewritten. But to be honest, the fact that we're getting like five coins, 25 coins, just by like sitting here and dancing, it's absolutely crazy. So if we wait here a couple more minutes, we're going to skip ahead to one minute and see how much coin we get from this. We just got 100 coins, which is absolutely incredible. So yeah, let's see how much coins we get after one minute. And there we go. After just one minute of mining, we received over 500 coins in less than a minute. So the mining on Club Penguin Saloon is a little bit different than other CPPS servers. Um, I believe you get only one or two coins. Like every time a coin appears, you can sometimes get one coin, two coins. Sometimes you can get 20 coins, even like 30 coins. But I think the maximum loot you can get from this is the best prize, which is 100 coins. So if you sometimes get lucky, you can earn over 100 coins just like that. So now what I'm going to be showing you guys is the second best way to earn coin in the game. So for those of you guys who do not know... The best way to earn coins apart from mining in the cave mine is by playing mini games. Games such as Puffle Rescue, Cart Surfer, Sliding, Ice Fishing, all of these mini games, even over at the dock, Hydro Hopper, 
all of these mini games will give you loads and loads of coins. However, there are some mini games that earn you more coins than others, and that is what I'm going to be showing you guys. The first mini game I'm going to be showing you guys, which is the best way to earn coins from a mini game, is Kart Surfer. As you guys can see, once we load up Kart Surfer, here we go. We've got Play and Instructions. We're going to click on Play. Now, I haven't actually played Kart Surfer on Club Penguin Live, so yeah, we're going to see how it goes, and hopefully it doesn't go too bad. So as you guys can see, the strategy here is that you have to keep holding down your up key. And there we go. We just earned our first ever stamp and our second stamp, which is super cool. So yeah, basically, the strategy with Kart Surfer is you need to hold down your up key. And as you can see, you can get 40 coins every single second. Now, this is, for, this is great for earning coins, but what if you want to earn a lot of coins really fast? Well, you just keep holding it down and grinding the game out. Now, there are a couple of different animations you can do. Like, like, for instance, you can do the jump side spin animation like that. And although it says it'll give you 80 score, it will only actually give you like 40. It'll, so the way the animations work on Kart Surfer is that every single time you do a new animation, you get 80 coins. But once you do it, the same animation twice over and over again, then you get 40 coins. But if you do a different animation and do the same animation again, then you will get 80 coins. It's a little confusing. But all you guys need to know is that if you want coin fast, this is the way to do it. Make sure you play the game and make sure you're holding down your up arrow key. Let's see how far we can go while doing this. It has literally been less than 10 seconds since I've stopped talking, and as you guys can see, I have got over 1,200 coin. Um, I wasn't paying attention right there, which is why I kind of messed up. But yeah, as you can tell, Kart Surfer is a super easy game. You just have to make sure that you pay attention, and remember to let go of your arrow keys. And as you can tell, we are earning so many stamps from this one mini game, which is super awesome. Now, I actually don't know if there is an ending to Kart Surfer or if it goes on forever. That is something I will have to research outside of episode. Um, yeah, I really haven't done much um, on Club Penguin Saloon. Oh, and as you can see, there is an ending to Kart Surfer. We've got four of the 12 stamps already. So we've got Mind Mission, we've got Great Balance, we've got Surf's Up, and we have got uh, Cart Pro earn 150 coins in one game. So as you can tell, we earn a lot of coins just from this short time span. So yeah, that is the second best mini game to play. The next mini game I would like to recommend for you guys is right over here, and it is Gone Fishing or Go Fishing. So as you guys can tell, Go Fishing is a very good mini game for coins. Now the reason this wasn't number one on my list was because of the fact that it usually takes somewhere around 10 to 15 minutes until the end of each game. However, after the end of each game, you usually get somewhere around 400 to 500 coins each single time you play. And that's not even the best part. If we close out of here and click on this little piece of paper right here, you can see you can actually buy a fishing lure fishing rod for only 200 coins. If you actually use this fishing rod in game, you can earn or you can actually get gray mullet fishes which, if you did not know, will actually give you extra coin. Now, they are a little bit harder to catch, but they are definitely worth the coin they're going to give you. Those are the two mini games I would recommend for you guys to play. And finally, we have got the last best way to earn coins on the island, and that is through codes. As you guys can see, we have two options right over here. When you first log in onto Club Penguin and you want to redeem codes, click right over here. And then you're going to see this screen pop up. I have two options. I have a code or I have a book. You will select I have a code. Now, on Club Penguin Live, there's only been one code released, but it was such a good code. And it was the Beta 2020 code. And you received 5,000 coins. So if you guys do redeem codes, you can always get loads of really cool coins. Now, not all code is guaranteed to get you coins. Yeah, guys, if you did enjoy this episode, make sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more awesome Club Penguin content like this. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye!